I'm Christopher Stanley. Uh, I'm an instrument scientist uh, on the EQ SANS instrument up at the Spallation Neutron Source. Um, I came here about six years ago, originally as a show fellow. The project that I initially undertook when I came here was looking at uh, Huntington's disease and the, the protein that's implicated in that disease. And this was kicked off with a, uh, a collaboration with UT Medical Center to, to take their expertise together with ours and to form this project that's been very fruitful through the years and still uh, something that we're actively working on. What we want to understand are the, the nuances of how this protein is misbehaving uh, in neuronal cells. So if this protein is aggregating, interacting with itself in, in a, a very non-natural way that, that causes cell death and thereby affects memory, it affects muscle function, uh, we want to understand the ways that it's doing that. And that's what we're trying to tackle using uh, the neutron facilities here at Oak Ridge Lab. And particularly with small angle neutron scattering, we can get at the size and we can get at the shape of these earliest species that are forming in ways that other techniques would allow. We can cater the conditions, uh, the, the solution conditions in terms of salt and pH, everything, or the chemistry to match what's happening in the biological setting and try to figure out what these conditions have to play a role in the way that the protein behaves. And right now in the community it's believed that this is happening at the earliest stages of when this protein begins to misbehave. One of the future hopes from this dynamic that we have, this interaction in the collaboration, is what information we can provide at a structural level for them to then think about in vivo or cell studies that are able to more closely mimic what's happening um, in, in the case of the real disease and thereby think of uh, targets for what we should uh, apply towards rational design of, of therapeutics and then be able to come back to the beam lines here um, either at SNS or we've done a lot of experiments actually at HIFER at the reactor here to be able to, uh, to see in what ways we can actually control or alter these, uh, these, uh, formation of, uh, the, the formation of these uh, protein aggregates that may be therapeutic.